It is 244th, the 10th of June. God bless everybody. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I did not get any kind of a reading put together, but I'm just going to go over a little bit about in the scriptures, you guys. How uh, what it says is what it means. Uh, what was in the past is what's happening in the future. Where he talks about cursed children, that's when we're not following God's ways at all. And that's why throughout the history, guys, where we've been seeing it's been increasingly getting more and more wicked. Just like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, those were examples as what to happen. But you got to be reading scriptures to understand these things. And they stopped teaching the word of God. And when it says cursed children, I'm going to tell you something. The people, when you got them in the pulpit and they're not raised to be God-fearing people, then they're going to be, you know, have the spirit of the world. And if they have the spirit of the world, then you're going to be, you're going to be getting uh, further and further out it, let out, let out away from the word of God. And that's what's happened. And uh, we're just living in a time where it's at the end now. And a lot of people are putting um, putting the world and what's in it before God and Christ. You know, you hear a lot of how God blessed this, God blessed that. But scripture is clear. It says, nobody comes to the Father but through me, who came here to redeem us, to buy us. Christ paid for us his blood. And without that, you can't, you're not even going to get anywhere near uh, where you need to be. A lot of people say they are, but yet they don't know anything about Scripture, about following Him, loving not the world or the things that are in it, uh, picking up your cross, following Him. Uh, you got to, He's got to be above your children, your everything. And uh, if not, it says you're not worthy of Him. And you guys, there's not a whole lot. To be uh, to understand this in scripture, and people aren't doing that. Okay, that's why parable of the seed talks about it like it's the world. And then it says uh, the spirit of God, the spirit of the world. You know, those two spirits, and then to be born again, that's the spirit of God that abideth in us, the Holy Spirit. Teach us of all things. And uh, a lot of people don't want to separate from this world or the cares of it. And I meet a lot of people today. We met several people that uh, said they know they're, you know, we're in the end times. But they're still happy, comfortable. Uh, they don't, and I asked them, I said, do you, do you share this with other people? Said, nah, not really. You know, because they're busy with the world. You know, business. And it says, if you see these times coming and you warn not. And that's one of the biggest things I've noticed. People not sharing this, what's going on. Anyhow. Guys, wherever everybody's at, some of us are sharing it with people. Um, I don't have a conversation with nobody and not uh, speak up about this. Um, we just went and talked to some people about a professional uh, company that could do some service work. And uh, we were there. I noticed Cynthia looked at me, and I, and I felt like maybe she was waiting to see if I was going to ask. And I did. I said, do you know we're in these end times? And the owner and one of his drivers said, oh, yeah. They knew it. They knew that, you know, the stuff that they're putting in people, not to do it that this was about the body. And that's why I was wondering, are you telling other people about it? And they said, uh, not really, you know? And I'm like, you know, this is the problem. You know, since I've been here, nobody spoke to me. I can tell you how many people uh, we've spoken to uh, constantly, uh, every time when we meet somebody. There's nobody that, uh, if we come in contact with them, that we don't speak to. 
you know, we went and had lunch, the waiter that came to the table. I was sharing with him. I said, you know, when the last day go, oh, yeah. I said, well, you know, when we get in the latter part of the times, like now, they're going to be separating people. Those that are vaccinated versus those that are not vaccinated. And they're going to be getting uh, more angry with those that haven't been vaccinated. And he looked at me and smiled. He goes, well, I'm glad I got my vaccination. And uh, and I just went, oh, you know, he wasn't even hearing what I was saying. And he that's because of the spirit of the world. The world will love their own. It's not going to be much longer, you guys. And, that's, and he looked at us and goes, well, everybody's getting it. Everybody. And I don't know what the percentage is, but I think here in Tennessee, it might be closer to that 50%. I mean, it's not everybody like he says it is. Many people will fall away because scripture says this. It causes this. And it could be their work. It could be who knows. You know, a lot of these people say they won't do it no matter what. But when it comes down to it, everybody's being tried. You know, everybody's being tried. And things are going to get extremely bad. I'm grateful I told Cynthia that I had this. And I had it probably... I'm going to say four months ago, at least, I seen where everything was washed away in the scriptures where it says those that hear these sayings of mine and does them, hold life in them to a person that built, that dug down, built on the rock. And when the storms came, uh, the house, it beat vehemently on that house. It withstood, it stood in the storm. Versus those that don't do it, and it'll blow that house down and that's what I see in my dream where where I was at it was on a rock everything around it was gone and it looked like water was going through sand washing away and that's when I seen people coming up Um, I told Cynthia I said you know at no time we should ever have had this place opened up for people to come to because we're not it's not there yet. It's not there yet at all. And uh, we run into a lot of worldliness. People that are still clinging to the world. And uh, I believe this is where they still have to go through things. Because when we came here to set up, we came here to set up for the end of it. Not for the views. Not for, you know, we, we came here knowing what's coming. And what's about how bad it's going to get. And we know when these 5G towers kick in, people are going to drop down just like Nebuchadnezzar and have the mind of an animal. And it's going to get really bad. And they can probably even get them to turn nuts where they're going to be killing people. You know? And uh, we've seen that too. I've seen it. Where people are going to be coming after people. It's just going to be... It's going to be wicked. It's going to be extremely evil. Evil like nobody's ever seen before. That's what a lot of people don't understand. We're in... uh, Everything you read in there about Nebuchadnezzar having his mind reduced to that of an animal, it really happened. And this is what's going to happen now. And look at the Social Security office. It's called Human Services. And they give you a Social Security number. What does the Bible say about numbering people? You're not supposed to be doing it. You're not supposed to be numbering it. Satan's the prince of this world. Okay? Human services. Who do you think it is? They're like cattle. And haven't you heard that uh, cattle um, herd immunity? Herd. What do we call cattle? We're herding them up, aren't we? Haven't you heard that saying? Herd. Immunity, you know, where they're doing that, shit talking to people like they're cattle. Human services. To me, it sounds like somebody not of this world going with humans. He was talking about a sci fi show where it said, uh, how to prepare food for humans. And they thought it was aliens that were actually cooking and doing things for people from this world. Then come to find out. That was their cookbook and how to uh, 
humans. Yeah, they were feeding on them. It was an old television show. Okay? You guys, television, even though they entertain people with it, there's a lot of uh, letting you know things that are coming on this earth. Things that are even happening on this earth. People don't even consider uh, the missing people in, around in this place. And even children. Missing children. You know, and then they make it out like they find one here and there or whatever. You guys, the numbers are untold. Untold. People don't even have a clue. There's more, if you knew, you'd be docked. Most people don't care. It's like, uh, you know, as long as they're happy in their life, getting what they want. When they vote for somebody. These people will tell you, it doesn't matter how wicked it is. You know, whatever. If you got an evil, dark heart, and they think that they got to promise you to do whatever's wicked is today, the version, okay, well, we'll, they'll legalize it. Let's get these people in office. You know, oh, we want to get high. We want to smoke pot. We want to do drugs. Oh, legalize it. These people aren't in office to try to do things according to God's way. The scripture says that too. It says, His ways are not our ways. Our ways are not His ways. Read 1 Samuel when it talks about how this woman that said, Give me a child. And he opened her womb to where she would have a baby. And read that if you. But anyhow, she gave that son, she raised it up so big, then took it to Eli, okay, the priest. Took it to him, where that child was raised from that point on. And uh, he became a prophet of God. You know, see, you guys, these things, people raise a child up when he's young, and when he's older, he won't stray away from it. What do you think has happened here? Why do you think it's dark as it is? Sending our children to schools, we're teaching them the ways of the world. Is it the spirit of the world or the spirit of God? If they have the spirit of God, they'll have an understanding of what this is, what's happening in the world. That's why few people have it. A lot of people don't realize the spirit of the world, just how uh, much of a hold that blinds people what's going on. And they continue, they're quiet about this. Matter of fact, they don't even consider where it says, if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. And like I told you, if I had to count the people that came up to warn me, even told me we're in the end times, guess what? None. None. I can count none on both hands. Not even one on one hand. That's pretty bad. I don't know how it's going to work out here, you guys, towards this end here. I don't. I don't know how it's going to work out. Well, everybody, wherever you're at, you come in contact with anybody, share it. Share it with them. Okay? What was will be again. You know, God brings evil against people, but those whose hope is in the Lord, and you pick up your cross and you follow him, you got to separate yourself from this world. It's time to do it. I ain't saying you got to quit your job if you got a job. I'm saying separate from this world. Don't face on these things. And then you got to be praying God, Jesus Christ, and saying, Lord, you know, lead me for wherever you need to be led. You know, have me where I need to be when these things start happening. And it's getting very close. And it's going to be like chaos and things will be getting worse. And, uh, you know, this is where we're going to have to be like-minded and trusting in the Lord, not having a spirit of fear. Remember, God created everything, even evil. It's all in scriptures, man. He raised the wicked up to do what, what we're about to start seeing. He raised the wicked up to do what you're going to be seeing. That's why we shouldn't have a spirit of fear. You know, it talks about those that are going to have the seal of God. They'll be protected when these things begin to happen. 
it's mm. all you got to be. It, when you're there and you're seeing it, you need to know who you are in Christ and who abides in you and believe this because it's true. Because otherwise, we would be of the world. We'd be doing what they're doing and we'd be as blind as they are. And Jesus said, when I come, will I find faith? Yeah, it's either just a lot of the little things that are in the scriptures, man. And it's there, and it means what it says. Just like people are going to be changing their minds, be used to that of an animal. You know? People will be dying from the stuff that they're putting in them. You know, over time. Who knows how it's, it's going to be beyond anything. You know? Yes, we're up here in the hills. This stuff kicks in. We're up here in the hills. And, uh, you know, we're not up here hiding. This is where God met us. I asked for a cabin in the woods when we got to the end. And this is where I'm at. You know, and I know what's coming. I've seen it. You know, the Lord showed me a lot of things, man. And I also know that it's very important that you trust in Jesus when these things begin to happen. Don't have a spirit of fear. But trust in Jesus. And uh, it's all going to happen, man. You know? And look at it like this. Because this is, and I thank the Lord for saying these things. Who are my true families? Are those that do the will of God. Okay? Those who love him above everything. Because when we leave here, those are going to be my brothers and sisters in Christ, not those that are choosing things in the world. And scripture warns you about that too. Many of them will have a form of godliness, but you'll know them by their fruit. Okay? They're choosing things that are of this world. Only Jesus can save them. Not me, not you. All we can do is tell them what we know witness to them the time that we're in. But only if they open their hearts and let Jesus in and heal them. This is in scriptures. Only Jesus can. I've witnessed the people and five minutes later they forget. And it's because of the world. You know, and it's just not called. Because many were called, but few were chosen. And if the world's got a hold on them, there's nothing that's going to work. And only Jesus Christ. I can witness to people, and if that parable of the seed, that soil's not right, and if they don't open their heart to let Jesus in, that's what it's going to be. You know? But you got to be at peace with that too, and just know that this is the way it's always been. It was always meant to be this. And, know, and be at peace with this. You won't lose one that belongs to you. He's known from the beginning of Time, who would do what? You know, everybody's got a destiny. You know, everybody. That's what we were talking about earlier. You know, where we're at, I was clearly shown nobody's going to be coming here until everything falls apart. You know, when everything's blown away and people are where they're going to be, and a lot of it's going to be because, um, believed and Jesus Christ led their steps or because they didn't believe and they're of the world and it's going to be what it's going to be for them. You know, if they love something more than him, it's going to be what it'll be. You know, but my main thing is right here, I know nobody's going to show up here until things are all falling away and then these people will be more like-minded and their their love, their hope, their faith, it's not going to be in this world. And they're not going to love this world. They're going to want out of it. And they're going to know clearly what's going on. And they'll have a better understanding of Scripture when these things happen. You know, if it's the Lord, you know, this is where we want to be getting out of this place. You know, before, because he says no place would have survived had he not intervened early. You know, he's in control. Remember that. No matter what the devil's doing, he's in control. The devil's doing only what he has from the beginning allowed him to do. You know? 
created all things. Everything you see is the creator. He created the creation. He created us. You're going to be outdone by it. You won't be outdone by it. No way. And everything's going to happen according to his word. Remember that. Okay? So, things are getting ready to start changing. Just trust in the Lord, okay? God bless each and every one of you. All who call on Jesus Christ will be saved. Believe that he died and raised, and on the third day, you will be saved. Can't be of the world and Christ. Can't serve two masters. That's in Scripture. You know, whatever you do, keep Christ first in your life. This is all we think about day in, day out. Every morning. We go down, we get what we have to get. Comes in contact with us. Most people have already heard from us and have seen us over the years, and they already know what we're going to say. They know it already. They've heard it so much. They already know. You know, they see us. I guarantee you, what comes out of their mind when they see us, that's how much we've spoken. Other people, no, nobody's, they're, they're quiet. You know? Witness managers and some of these fast food changes, or whatever, they've all a lot of them have taken the shot. You know, they six months ago or a year ago, they said, I'll never do it, not gonna do it here. Well, a lot of them have done it. You know, <clears throat> if we're at 40, 50, 60, 70 percent in some places, just know this it's probably gonna be about 20 to maybe 30 that don't. Then you're gonna start to see those that fall away because of the things where it says love not the world or the things that are in it. And they don't have an understanding of scripture where it says, Trust in me and I will guide your steps the way you need to be, and he will, and he'll get you through it. It also says, My people perish for the lack of knowledge. You know, not reading the Bible. This is most of your churches, man. Been preaching prosperity and the love of this world for a long time. You know, but this is what it is. Hey, you guys. All right. I'm sorry I didn't have any scripture to put together today, but uh, I got to share a little bit about scriptures and uh, how real everything is. You know, where he says he's, he brings evil against us. We're here to know what good and evil is. Made that fruit. That was the knowledge of good and evil. You can clearly see what it is today. Okay? Don't fear death. Trust in the Lord. Put your faith in Him, and you won't go wrong. You know, just don't be of this world, because Satan is the prince of it. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.